Here along with Jim Henrik, he 2A coming up, 7-11 in the Miller American, both with 400. And the Bud Turbin with the second place earlier in the day, Cellular 1, still looking for points. But it looks like they're going to have trouble with it. Looks like Todd Yarling cannot get the Cellular 1 started. He's right in the middle of the front straightaway, as you see. And here come the three turbines for the start of E2A. All three boats easily there in time. Not too early. The Bud Turbin in third place. Miller American in first. 7-11 on his outside hip as they go into the Belle Isle turn. A lot of air under the Miller American and the 7-11 right now going into that turn. Oh, look at the air under the 7-11 as they go into that rocky part of the, the course in that area. Past the Whittier and into the turn. And it'll get a little calmer now as they come around the turn and get into the back straightaway. Chip Hanauer, who won here in 1982 in the Gold Cup, has won every year here since, even when it was not the Gold Cup. The Miller American, as you see, Chip hey. trying to negotiate that turn. It is getting very choppy. Here comes the Bud Turbin into second place, going down the back chute. That Bud, they have tested it all week, trying to get it calmed down a little bit, a little more responsive to driver Jim Krupfeld. But the Miller American in first place, coming around the rooster tail turn on lap number one. The speed for the Miller American, about 117 miles per hour. Good battle for second and third between the 7-11 and the Bud Turbin. From the top of the Detroit Towers, our camera out on top. Dave White, the cameraman, as he sees this. The two boats going for second and third. 7-11 and the Bud Turbin. Miller American in first place as they go around again. That very wide, wide turn near the Belle Isle Bridge here in Detroit. A teardrop-shaped course, a very, very tight rooster tail turn here, the second turn on this two-and-a-half-mile course. Chip Hanauer, the national champion of 1985 in the Miller American, trying to do it again here in 1986. Steve Reynolds out of Seattle in the 7-Eleven. In second place, going against Jim Krupfeld. This man, he's got a new ride. This boat won in Miami two weeks ago, and they're trying to tame it down just a bit. Again, keep in mind, attrition is very important on this day. When all the boats go out for three preliminary heats before they go on, to get into the final if they have enough points. Miller American, first place, E2A two way so far. Past the Whittier Hotel, there he is now going into that Belle Isle turn, and it is very, very rough. Look at the air getting under the 7-Eleven. And that boat turns extremely well, but has taken quite a pounding. The Miller American, basically with one engine to work with here in the Gold Cup, and again, attrition is a key, but look at this boat. A lot of air under it, but it recovers so well as it comes around the tight turn and heads past the pits and down towards the main straightaway. Second place, 7-Eleven. Down past the Detroit Yacht Club, the Miller American, Chip Hanauer, and the 7-Eleven is going dead in the water, losing power. 7-Eleven slowing down to a halt as Steve Reynolds got to wonder what happened to his engine now after getting 400 points in an earlier heat. The Miller American holding on to first place, a large lead now as he comes down the lane straight away again. You can see how rough it's getting. His speeds have slowed way down. He is down to 102 miles per hour after qualifying at 135. That gives you some idea of the water conditions. The Bud Turbin now coming down the back chute as he goes past the 7-Eleven. Jim Kropfeld, one of the veterans, getting his 13th victory in Miami for a career in unlimited driving. But 400 points away, Chip Hanauer. He has 800 for the day, and he is the winner aboard the Middle American of Heat 2A. Second place goes to the Bud Terman. Jim Kropfeld taking it easy as he brings it across the finish line, saving that boat. He's still got one more preliminary heat, and then the final. So at least two boats are in good shape for the final, the Miller American and the Bud Turbin. As for the others, we don't know yet. Let's talk to Jim Kropfeld and the Bud. That water just looks horrible out there, Jim. Yeah, it's, it's very rough, Don. The, uh, you know, the Whittier and the coming out of that uh, number two turn, God, I can't, you can't imagine how rough it is. It just takes the boat and throws it every which way. Okay. Bernie, I know you're really concerned. We well, can see the yeah. white from here. Yeah, you really can. We don't want anybody hurt out there. I don't think it's raceable water. I think you're looking at 30, 35 mile an hour winds out there. And uh, if, uh, you know, we, we may just, if it gets any worse, I'd have to withdraw the boat because I'm not going to destroy it or hurt anybody. So we'll just have to keep our eye on it. We're going to make some changes on it, see if we can run a little better in this rough water. Did you have to see what happened to the 7-Eleven, Jim? No, he was uh, far enough ahead of me where uh, I, c I couldn't really tell. I assume that uh, the way he was pounding, he might have poked a hole in the, in the sponson. Right now, look at Chip. It looks like it's getting even rougher. 
Real rough. I noticed that there's holes down in the middle of the course. Now, that's not like uh, the Detroit River. No, nah, this is as rough as I've seen it. You know, um, I know that's saying a lot for the Detroit River, but it's plenty rough. You got you down now and two more to go. Uh, how conservative will you be in the next seat? Where? Um, we're real conservative. We've got 800 points, and that'll get us into the final. I think the important thing now is taking care of the boat. E2B is on tap in Detroit. Back in a minute. Board going out to see just how bad it is for E2B. I don't know if we'll get it in or not. Let's get a word from Bernie Little. Well, it's the worst damn water I've ever seen out there. Those rollers look like the Gulf of Mexico. Let's take a look at the three boats scheduled for E2B. The Bud Griffin, the Holson Miss Madison, and Oboy Alberto still looking for points. But I don't know if we'll get E2B in here or not as the boats warm up out on that very rough course. Out of the rooster tail turn, the Detroit Yacht Club in the background. They'll start coming around, setting up for the start. The gun sounds, but now the red flag is out, and that means we will not run this heat, at least not right now anyway, on the Executone reader board. Above the official clock, you see the word stop. The red flags are out all around the course, so now the boats will return to the pits. So heat to be is postponed, and oh my, Detroit is doing it to us again. We've been postponed three out of the last four years here in the Motor City. Budweiser back into the pits. Let's take a time out of our own. We're in Detroit for the Gold Cup. We'll return in just a moment. <laughs> 